All right, this is where, uh, depending on whether you use 2017 or prior or 2018, your experience is gonna diverge. I have 2018 up here, uh, so you're gonna see the plugin loading. If you were to open 27, or if you were to do all of these with 2017 or 16 or whatever, uh, this will not load. And that is because of what I've explained in the previous video, which is some symbols are gonna be missing. Now, let me show that much. This is our build for the footprint node. We can go bring up the MLL and you can see that it loads despite the fact that I have exported nothing. Uh, and if you want, I don't know, I guess the entire proof of it, it's the footprint node and we now have a footprint node. And one note about my own Windows on Linux, you will be able to recompile that MLL that I've just loaded um, just fine. Uh, on Windows, you with Visual Studio Open, you wouldn't be because of the way the file handles actually work. So with that out of the way, unload it so you can write to it and plugin manager might occasionally poop itself. And let's go and explain what is going on. Now, 2017, that would not have worked. Uh, you would have got a message uh, that say that you cannot find load plugin or maybe even you cannot find load plugin and unload plugin, sorry, initialize plugin and initialize plugin. And how do you solve that? Now there's two ways you can go about it. Uh, one is getting your build, your project basically. And if you go in there, you'll see, remember that the export of the final file itself, the one that Maya will see the DLL, comes from the linker. And the linker is, is a command line tool and has command line options and you can go in linker command line and issue additional commands, same as you would any, uh, the way we shown with dumping, you can do slash something, you can do that with uh, most command line tools in Windows. So you will go export and give it a symbol. In this case, it will be initialized plugin, no commas, no colons, semicolons or anything other than the one in the middle. Uh, because these are command line arguments, they don't need separation, the space is the separation most of the time, and you would export an initialized plugin. So if you can't read these, uh, it doesn't matter all that much, but it's slash export colon initialized plugin, space slash export colon uninitialized plugin. And with that, you're good. So your code is now completely ignorant of all platforms, um, and the work that you do for the actual platform support to make this a library and so on is done by the build tool. So if you use CMake on Linux or you use a mixed CMake for both Linux and Windows, uh, if you use Visual Studio Windows and so on, this is the work that you will be doing by issuing instructions to the linker that will build for that platform. Now, personally, I prefer the code to be multi-platform rather than having the code being broken, because for Maya 2017 and prior, this is basically broken. It doesn't get the symbols it expects. Um, so normally I will do pound the fines for the various platforms that are needed. And without going too much into it, next video, you know, final details, we're gonna cover some of it, but you could do something like, if it's the fine uh, Win64 or whatever token you actually need, uh, do something like include the correct specification. Uh, otherwise, if it's some other platform, um, do something else. Uh, close that if. And that will be it. Now your code is basically gonna come for the multiple platforms. So we're gonna talk about the Windows case for a moment and that's done with deco spec. So if you're curious about the details of deco spec, you can go on MSDN uh, look for a deco spec and you will find this is the clear specifications. It is a compiler instruction that goes into the code. It's a linker instruction that goes into the code that allows you to specify, well, to um, have the specification of the output in line together with the code and you can make it platform sensitive by having uh, preprocessor instructions in your code. If you don't want to deal with all of that, if you don't understand any of these, don't worry, you're still not in trouble. You can either issue those parameters to the linker or you can simply go in here and this is all you need to do. Um, doesn't even matter if they're on the same line. You want to prefix the functions you want to export with deco spec DLL export. And in this case, you only need to export initialized plugin and an initialized plugin. Even if you're in 2018 or you want to build um, for multiple versions of Maya, maybe 
Uh, this does not conflict. It, sh it definitely should not conflict uh, with the fact that there is a macro upstream that was probably doing the same job. So once you do that, your plugin is basically good to go. This is all you need to do to get the plugin working. Uh, now, there's a few details left, um, especially if you look at build guides on the internet, and we're gonna go over that next.